Hey guys, Sam up here. It's been a long time actually. Uh, so today I'm in Minecraft 1.13 and I'm going to show you how you can make two working turrets in vanilla Minecraft of course without the use of any mods in Minecraft Java this time. So this works only in Java thanks to function. It's a function pack for uh, currently is Minecraft 1.13 pre-release 3. Uh, this will work in 1.13, the final release, I will keep it updated since Minecraft 1.13 isn't out yet. So let's get started with the video. Right, so guys, firstly you will need to install this pack. If you don't know how to do that, I will make a guide at the end of this video. Right, so to get the sentry turret from Portal and the... TNT cannon you will need these items 16 blocks of TNT, 1 block of diamond, 10 redstone block, 10 quartz block and 1 nether star as you can see the recipe is really expensive this is because these turrets are um, a little bit overpowered I mean if I had made the crafting recipe too easy it would be too unbalanced uh, with the game. So you drop these items on the ground. I didn't use custom crafting because I didn't want to use a resource pack uh, because currently you cannot add actual uh, spawn eggs uh, with crafting recipes using for example the recipe book. So we got 8 pieces of sentry turrets and 4 TNT turrets. As you can see you get tons of them so I think that with this you can defend your house pretty well so maybe it's worth a nether star. So I think we can begin with the sentry turret. You can place it with by just by right clicking. Let me hide. As you can see, you can place multiple of them in two respective directions. This is the portal turret, the one from the actual game. Uh, so I think we can get started. Of course, I wanted to show you that this is doable in survival so I went to survival mode but I'm just going to creative just to test it out with some mobs. Right so I got some creeper and skeleton eggs this works with pretty much all the hostile mobs this doesn't work with players but I will show you later in the video how you can uh, target one player or the player you want. As you can see creepers are targeted with these laser beams which silently and slowly kill them. It works with multiple mobs. You can see that they will slowly kill them all um, and take care of your mobs. Of course you can place more of them to get a more efficient system. So there we go. It's really fun to see all these laser beams intersect and just track the mob. You get the idea. So these are the sentry turret. Really simple. To remove the turret you just, you just destroy the block on which it's placed. So to get um, a player to be targeted all you have to do is use this command slash tag the name of the player you want to tag which is sign up add and then hostile so I will be seen as a hostile mob and as you can see these lasers are targeting me oh and of course to remove the tag you just type in remove and there you go so I'm ready to show you the next item which I don't have in my inventory anymore. Right so I'm back and I've got the spawn axe with me. So right click to place a cannon. As you can see it's a really cool model made out with armor stands and it shoots CNT. So let's test it using a creeper. This one has sound effects as well. So let me place some creepers and let you see how this one work. As you can see they target the same creeper, the same mob at the same time. They have a wider radius, this one is 25 blocks, 
the other sentry turrets are just 15 blocks. As always, I can add myself a tag. And the cool thing is that they will continuously move to face me. This is thanks to the facing feature added by 1.13 and this is the proof of what awesome things can be done using this mechanic. Of course, if you can, if you want to remove it, you just break the block underneath. You got the idea, it's always like that. And that's pretty much it for me. I just love the cannon, it's my favorite weapon. I know there's just two of them, but this is really... I, I like the model, I like the way it works. Really quickly, to install the data pack, it's really simple. You head into the .minecraft folder, then on saves, then the word you want to install the data pack in, then to data packs and you drag and drop the file you download from my website in the description right here and it's done. You'll get turrets when you join your world again. And that's it for me, I hope you liked this small creation and my return. Um, I will work on other projects right now so I won't be posting any videos I think. But I will keep you updated on Twitter at Simap. So see you guys. Goodbye.